grade eight, geography, chapter two. Let us recap. In the previous chapter, you learned about different resources. Today we are going to talk about the land resource. Land is among the most important natural resources. It covers only about 30% of the total area of the earth's surface and all parts of this small percentage are not habitable. The uneven distribution of population in different parts of the world is mainly due to various characteristics of land and climate. The rugged topography, steep slope of the mountains, low-lying areas susceptible to water logging, desert areas, thick forested areas are normally sparsely populated or uninhabited. Plains and river valleys offer suitable land for agriculture. Hence, these are the densely populated areas of the world. From the above explanation, we have learned that the land is a very, very important resource for all of us. Almost everything happens on land. So we need to conserve it. How are we going to conserve the land? That is what we are going to learn under this heading conservation of land resource. Children, as you know, growing population and their ever-growing demand has led to a large-scale destruction of forest cover and arable land and has created a fear of losing this natural resource. What is arable? Arable means suitable for agriculture. Therefore, the present rate of degradation of land resources must be checked. How are we going to check? By deforestation, land reclamation, regulated use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers, and checks on overgrazing by animals are some of the common methods used to conserve land. What is deforestation? By adding more and more trees. How are we going to add? By planting more and more saplings and uh, making them to grow into big trees. That is what is deforestation. Land reclamation, it is usually done in coastal areas. Sometimes it is also done in areas like rivers and lakes where the sea, even in the sea, that's why the coastal area they are telling us and by putting big rock, clay and soil and filling it up to the desired height. That is what is land reclamation. And if we are regulating our use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers, means we should not be using them much to enhance the fertility of the soil. And even we should be checking on the overgrazing by the animals. Because if the animals are overgrazing, they are eating up all the plants and uh, grasses and everything from the land. And later, when the wind is blowing or the water is flowing, it is creating the soil erosion. So to avoid that, we should at least be covered the land with grass or something or the other by growing so that the soil is being pulled up by the roots of these vegetation and soil is not washing away. These are the few methods which we can use to conserve land. What are landslides? Just see the simple definition here. The mass movement of rock, debris or earth down a slope is known as landslides. They often take place in conjunction with earthquakes, floods and volcanoes. A prolonged spell of rainfall can cause heavy landslides that can block the flow of river for quite some time. The formation of river blocks can cause havoc to the settlement downstream on its bursting. In the hilly terrain landslides, 
have been a major and widely spread natural disaster that often strike life and property and occupy a position of major concern. So from above explanation, we have come to know that these landslides mostly take place in the hilly areas, hilly regions, and that is why they have given us a case study. A massive landslide hit Pangi village near Rekangpio in Kinnor district of Himachal Pradesh and damaged a 200 meter stretch of old Hindustan Tibet Road National Highway 22. This landslide was triggered by intense blasting at Pangi village. Due to the blasting, this weak zone of slope collapsed and caused intense damage to the road and nearby villages. The Pangi village was completely vacated to avoid any possible loss of life. Look at this picture of landslide. See all the stones, rocks have fallen from the mountain or a hill and it has all come on the road. Now we have to see what are the mitigation measures or mitigation techniques? First of all, let us see the meaning of mitigation. Mitigation means the action of reducing the severity. As we have learned in the last slide, uh, slide that these are the natural disasters. We cannot stop them. Humans cannot stop them, but we can reduce the severity of these natural disasters. For that, we need to use some techniques, we need to take some measures to avoid the maximum loss of life and property because of these natural disasters. What are these? Hazard mapping locate areas prone to landslide. Hence, such areas can be avoided for building settlements. They should locate the places which are highly, highly prone to landslide and we should not be allowing people to settle over there by building their houses. Fine. Construction of retention walls to stop land from slipping. If you have visited any uh, hilly region or areas, you would have seen that they put the retention wall with the mountain slope or uh, they are putting the iron uh, mash to, with the wall of the this and with the mountains which are prone for landslides to avoid that the stones should not be coming and falling on the road. Okay? Increase in the vegetation cover is an effective way to arrest landslides. Before also I explain, if your land is covered with vegetation, any sort of vegetation, the roots of those plants will hold the land firmly and will not allow to flow with the flowing water. The rocks and all will be just hold by the vegetation roof. The surface drainage control works are implemented to control the movement of landslide along with rainwater and spring flow. The surface drainage system should be very strong. Water should not be logging in one place. So after uh, the long period when the water logging is making that particular rock or land very weak, that time also they are tumbling and falling from the hills and coming on the road and disrupting the road and hitting on the vehicles. So because of that, many accidents take place and many, many people lose their lives. So all these mitigation techniques, human beings can use and try to Reduce the severity of the landslide. We cannot completely stop them because it is a natural disaster. See, this is a picture of a retention wall or retaining wall which is being made in front of the hill so that the land is not sliding and coming on the road. And even if you are noticing it very clearly, you would be seeing some iron mash also has been put on that retention wall to make it more stronger. Children, if you 
are good at drawing and coloring, you can use your spare time to draw and color a poster for land conservation on an A4 size, colorful paper or white paper, whatever is available with you. Or if you don't want to draw and color, you are good at writing skills, you can even write a slogan for land conservation. Thank you. Textbook for your reading.